For I remember when he called me little man. This old friend. This whole thing's kind of coming full circle for me. It's kind of um, hitting home. This town, Fort Worth, is where he was, uh, you know, he raised my mother, him, and my grandmother raised my mom. And he had all these alarms set. He had like two different alarm systems. He had one that would would go off when he opened the garage, and another would go off when he go into the main house. So if you were a burglar and you got through one alarm system, you, you had to get through the second one, and you, there's no way you could have expected that one. And every door had about three or four locks on it, and each lock had a different key. So you had to have, you know, the master key. And Grandpa was just like, had the ring of keys, and you know. That's what my grandpa said to Grandpa had a, an antique store um, that I used to work at in the summers when I was a little kid. And he'd let me, you know, he would never let me have anything important because, you know, I was, I would break it. <laughs> so he gave me a piece, like a leg to a piece of furniture that needed to be sanded. But he wouldn't give me the thick, you know, uh, the coarse granite uh, sandpaper. He'd give me the real fine one. So I was the guy doing the very last piece on a, on a leg of an of a antique chair. And uh, he'd pay me like a quarter an hour. And I thought it was great, you know. And this is the house right here. This is my grandfather and grandmother's house where my mother grew up since she was a little bitty girl and they, they never moved. They stayed in the same house. We come here every Christmas and every Thanksgiving. This house looks pretty small and simple, but it goes all the way to the back of the lot. He just kept adding on to it and adding on to it. The pecan trees on either side and a pecan tree in the backyard produced lots of pecans and he used, to, he used to get on the roof in the back and collect them and we would get like five cents for every pound or something silly like that. So we'd go out and collect pecans in the front yard and the backyard and have uh, fresh pecans every year and uh, I don't know man it's a lot of, a lot of memories from this uh, this house that's what my grandpa said to me yeah. he has he has all these antique tools and 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 such and there's this old uh, Springfield rifle with a bayonet on it that hung up over over the back door and uh, from when I was just little bitty I always admired that gun and thought that was just the neatest piece that he had in the whole house. And he, uh, he gave it to me before he died uh, for Christmas and one Christmas. And uh, it was, uh, I have it up on my wall the way he had it up, you know. And I still put my uh, antiques, like I inherited a bunch of stuff from him and I put them up on the wall the way that he did. And uh, you know, they, they, were, they were just a real, you know, your grandparents are a big part of your life when you're young. And, and so Fort Worth was, uh, Fort Worth was that, man. Like you. Hey there, Grandpa, just like you. And I want to be just like you.